welcome. You look like you're in need of some rest, huh? Yeah. Well, I hope that I can help you do that today. My name is Calliope. I'm going to be your sleep technician today. How are you feeling so far in the room? Is it comfortable enough? Okay, how's the temperature? All right, and do you need anything before we begin? Do you need like a glass of water or any extra blankets? Everything cozy enough for you? Excellent. If at any point that changes, please let me know, all right? Great. So let me see real quick. So, firstly, welcome to the sleep clinic. I am super happy to be able to help you relax and unwind and just chill out for a little bit, all right? So, while our big goal is to help you sleep, the main thing that I want to focus on is just making you feel cozy. And comfortable and relaxed. All right? That's the most important thing to me. So to start off with, I want to just ask you some questions and we're gonna do a little examination to begin and then once that all checks out then we will get into helping you chill out and unwind. How's that sound? Oh, let's see here. So, just for clerical purposes, would you mind just confirming your name and date of birth for me? Mm hmm. Lovely name. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So, are you currently in any pain or any discomfort at all? Mm hmm. Wonderful. And I have your medical history here. Are there any changes to that that I need to make? Right. And what about your family history? Any changes to that? Hmm. And what about your allergies? Any changes to that? Alrighty. And what about your medication list? Is that all still up to date? Excellent. Thank you. So I'm just going to pop that down real quick. And for our examination today, I'm going to be doing a somewhat brief check on just about everything for you. So, first I'm going to take a look at your head and your scalp. We're going to be just inspecting your face. We'll take a look at your eyes. We'll take a look at your ears. We'll take a look at the lymph nodes. I will take a little listen to your heart and lungs. So, we're just going to do an all over check of you just to make sure that there aren't any contraindications. Does that sound all right to you? Lovely. So for this examination, I will need to be touching you. Is that all right with you? Do I have your consent to do that? Excellent. Thank you. So I'm just going to pop on a pair of gloves real quick and then we will get started with the examination. So I just want to let you know there might be a touch of background noise. We just got a very large snowstorm and the office is having our sidewalks cleared with a snowblower. Might be just a touch of that in the background. Shouldn't be 
too overpowering. We got nine inches of snow. It's quite a lot. Caused quite a bit of a ruckus. going to start off by just taking a little feel around your head, around your scalp, just noticing if there are any lumps or bumps or anything that shouldn't be there. All right. Please let me know if there is any pain or discomfort. Alrighty? Excellent. Alright. I'm just going to start by just going to start feeling your lymph nodes. I'm going to start here with the occipital lymph nodes at the back of your head. And then I'm just going to come forward under your jaw here. Finish off with the supraclavicular lymph nodes right at the clavicle. That all seems well and fine. So, your head feels nice, scalp feels good, nothing to be concerned with. Take a little general inspection of your face before we do any palpation or any testing. So I'm just going to just take a look at your face as a whole. Mm. And I'm just going to come and feel around. I'll paint along your skin. I'm just going to tap on your frontal and maxillary sinuses. Please let me know if there's any pain or discomfort. Anything there? All good. to just get a closer look at your eyes here. And I'm going to pull downwards on your eyes. I want you to look upwards. Mm -hmm. Look up for me. Excellent. And I'm going to pull upwards. I want you to look down. Right?
going to grab a pen light and perform a couple of eye tests on you with this light here. First, we're going to start with the direct consensual response test. The direct consensual response test involves me just putting my hand up between your eyes and I will shine the light into one eye and the eye that I'm shining the light into should react to the light that's being shined into it. I guess that was a touch redundant to say, but that eye should react and that's going to be our direct response. And if I were to do that same motion and shine the light in this eye, your other eye over here should react in the same way. It should react consensually and then we have our consensual response, right? to bring my hand up between your eyes here and I'm going to bring the light in and just look at the direct 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 response of the eyes and the consensual 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 that on the other side. Direct. 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 Consensual. 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 Excellent. That's lovely. Now I'm just going to really quick do what's called the swinging light test. I will bring my light to one eye and swing it to the other, swing it to the other, and swing it back. And I'm just looking for any, any defects in the way your eyes process that change back and forth. Bringing the light in your side. Excellent. And now I'm going to be having you do the follow the light test in which I move the pen light around your field of vision and I want you to follow this light using only your eyes without moving your head. Right? Follow the light using only your eyes without moving your head. Follow the light. You're doing excellently. Perfect. 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 Go up, down, to the side, to the side, up, down, to the side, to the side, diagonally up, diagonally down, Diagonally down, diagonally up, diagonally up, diagonally down, diagonally down, and diagonally up. Perfect. Now lastly, I want to check your accommodation reflex. I'll have you follow the light once more. Save for this time, I'm going to bring it in closer to your eyes and move it out away from your eyes. 
want you to, again, just follow the light with your eyes without moving your head. Right? Easy enough? Well, focus on the light. And just follow the light in and out. And in and out. And in and out. Excellent. I do that on the other side. Same story. Follow the light in. to be having a little check on your ears. First, I want to just have a little inspection. I'm going to be palpating them, feeling for any issues that may be there. So, if there's any pain, any discomfort, please let me know. Right? side inside your ears. I'm going to pop on a speculum on the otoscope. These have all been sterilized prior to you coming in here. And I'm just going to turn the light on and I will be taking a look inside your ears. Right? Excellent. I'll start with this ear here and just pull up and back on the ear.
going to move on and check the other ear real quick. wonderful. So now I want to move on to just having a very quick look at your hands and I want to check the capillary refill. I want to check to just make sure the temperature is correct for your hands and arms. That there's no coldness, right? Do you mind if I see your hands? Okay. Just really quick, want to have a little inspection of them. And just making sure that there isn't any, any issues at all. And I'm just going to feel with the backs of my hands, your arms your hands, assessing the temperature here, right? And I want to check the capillary refill on your fingernails here, just to assess that your circulation is good. Wonderful. That looks perfect. Lastly, I just want to really quick listen to your heart and your lungs. My stethoscope here. First, I want to listen to your heart. While I'm listening to your heart, I just want you to breathe normally, right? Just going to press the stethoscope to your chest here and just breathe normally for me. Listening to the mitral valve and the tricuspid valve and the pulmonary valve. Sounds great. Now I want to listen to your lungs, and when I ask you to, I want you to take a deep breath in for me and a deep breath out. All right? Excellent. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Excellent. Now listen to your back. Just going to note that down, and then that concludes our examination. I take off my gloves. There. I'm just going to sanitize again, real quick. 
as the gloves tend to be one's hand a touch sticky How are you feeling so far? Yeah. I like to draw out our examination just a touch so that we can really give you ample time to just chill and get used to the environment and just relax with it. Mm-hmm. So to start off, I want you to just Take a deep breath for me. Take a deep breath in. And out. All right. I want you to just note if there is any tension in your body. If there's any tension in your jaw. Or perhaps in your forehead. A touch of tension in your shoulders. Maybe you have them hitched up towards your ears and I want you to just take note of any tension that might be in your body. I want you to take another deep breath for me. And out. And as you're breathing, I just want you to notice that tension and let go. So if you have your tension here in your forehead, in your temples, I want you to just make a conscious effort to relax. Relax. Relax the muscles here. Smooth that out and relax. You have tension in your jaw here. You just unclench your jaw and just let it hang down a bit. You can also just lightly put your tongue between your teeth behind your lips and that helps from locking up your jaw. Just be mindful that you don't accidentally bite your tongue, but it's really helpful for when you are clenching your jaw and are having a bit of trouble making sure that you just let that go. Just putting a physical barrier there helps a bit. Having tension here in your shoulders. I want you to just drop your shoulders here and roll them back. Just drop down and roll back. Just like that. Really widen your rib cage, your chest, so that you are not putting any strain spine, on your muscles, that you're just relaxing the body and letting it come to a better position. So, take another deep breath for me. And out. So to start, I'm just going to be very lightly touching and tapping on your face. That all right with you? Are you comfortable with that? Wonderful. If at any point you're not, please let me know. And start here by just lightly brushing your hair out of your face. Just pushing that back. Helping you to just relax. Just chill out. This is the time that you are free to unwind and release any tension from the day and really just bring your 
yourself a sort of peace, a sense of tranquility Okay. I'm going to very lightly just circle your temples here, not putting any pressure at all. Just very lightly using my middle and ring fingers, gently circling the temples. You are safe here. We're here to take care of you. We're here to help you unwind and feel more at ease, feel comfortable, feel cozy. I'm going to run my fingers along your forehead. Very gently brush them along the forehead. Very gently, without putting any pressure. How is this feeling so far for you? Excellent. Use one hand. Gently massage the point in between your eyebrows using small circles with my thumb. I want you to take a deep breath in for me. And out. Really just let the tension and stress of the day melt. This is a time for you to let go. There isn't anything to worry about at this moment in time. There isn't anything to stress about at this moment in time. You can just put that off for a little bit. You're not completely ignoring it, just saying not now. Later, not now. I'm going to gently tap along your forehead and your cheek. take this time to think of something that you're grateful for. Just bring some positivity in. Whether it's your family or your partner or a pet. Just being thankful. day or beautiful weather or something you're looking forward to. Just thinking of something that you're grateful for. 
I myself do this every night I say that I'm thankful for my partner and my mama and my brothers and my extended family and my kitty Just as a few examples, thankful for my friends, the health and safety and well-being of my friends and family, take a deep breath in for me, and out. going to gently massage the DMJ muscle near your temporomandibular joint where we often carry tension where we often clench our teeth just going to gently massage that and help release and alleviate that tension I want you to give yourself a break and just enjoy this moment of time just enjoy being here in this moment nothing else going on Deep breath in for me and out. Excellent. Now I'm going to finish off our little session here with my hands off. So I won't be touching you while you're trying to rest or sleep. Going to be doing a few different hand movements. You can listen to the gentle rustling of my fingers. Or just sounds of the room, the ambiance. come quite close to you, but I won't be touching you. I don't want to accidentally startle you just as you're on the cusp of deep relaxation or even sleep. more than welcome to keep up that deep breathing if you wish you're more than welcome to just breathe normally it's all up to you up to what you want to do you are the author of this particular scenario I am simply the narrator we move on in the treatment 
subscribe.